yesterday i attended uh, mr abdur rahim green's uh, lecture there was a question posed to him uh, by a medical student she asked about uh, a paradise those who practice islam go to paradise and the rest of the people go to the uh, hell is it uh, the answer given by mr abdur rahim green was not convincing can you please explain thank you brother all the question somebody asked brother abdur rahim green that those who practice islam will go to paradise those who don't practice islam will go to hell the answer was convincing i was in there i'm sure brother abdur rahim green may have given a very convincing reply maybe you didn't understand certain of his points i know him is a very good speaker mashallah but regarding the reply that will muslim go to jannah and non muslim go to hell brother the requirement go to jannah is given in surah al asr chapter number 103 verse number 1 to 3 it says wal as inna insala fi khusr illa alladhina amanu wa amilu salihati wa tawasaw bil haqqi wa tawasaw bis sabr by the token of time man is very in a state of loss except those who have faith those who have righteous deed those who exhort people to truth that is to dawa and those who exhort people to patience and perseverance the requirement for any human being to go to jannah is four things iman faith what i discussed pillars of iman righteous deed exhorting people to truth and exhorting people to patience and perseverance if any one of these four is missing under normal circumstances you shall not go to jannah only by calling yourself abdullah muhammad sultan zakir will not take you to jannah just by saying i am a muslim you don't go to jannah i said in my talk allah says in surah ankabut chapter 29 verse number 2 just by saying you believe just by saying i am a mu'min i am a muslim do you think you'll go to jannah allah will surely test you so just by saying i am a muslim you will not go to jannah a person who practices islam islam comes from the root word salam which means peace it also means submitting a will to god a person who submits a will to god is called a muslim so a person who follows the religion or submitting a will to almighty god is a muslim so anyone who submits a will to almighty god whatever his name may be he will go to jannah so criteria to go to jannah is having iman in all the pillars i mentioned almighty god is there you have a messenger about the year after about his books etc doing righteous deed and submitting a will to almighty god if you submit a will to almighty god in arabic it is called as religion of islam but it doesn't mean that if you live in pakistan or live in saudi arabia you go to jannah no all the people in saudi arabia all in pakistan allah alam allah alone knows whether they go to jannah or not the person who go to paradise brother is one who obeys the commandment of almighty god the person who obeys the commandment of almighty god and i discuss many in my talk if you obey these commandments of almighty god just by name calling yourself muslim or muhammad or abdullah that will not take you to jannah it is not compulsory to change your name the name green is not a muslim name so that doesn't mean you won't go to jannah we prayed to him that may the brother inshallah no he has reverted he was a christian so the name will not take you to jannah your deed will take you believing your deeds exhorting people to truth and exhorting people to patience and perseverance if your deeds are right if your iman is right and you exhort people to truth and patience and perseverance inshallah any human being he shall go to jannah hope that answers the question